So I was giving a tour here in our hanging coo the other day, and I had somebody ask the question about this blue marking right here on the inside of this half of beef. They said, why is that one blue when the rest aren't? So it brought up a really good teaching point, so I figured I'd make a video about it. So the blue mark on the inside of that carcass is inside the spinal column, and what that tells us is that that beef was over 30 months of age. If you guys remember back maybe 15, 20 years ago, there was the mad cow outbreak that happened. And what the USDA did is they tracked that back to animals over 30 months of age. They tracked it back to the spinal column of those animals. So BSE, which is what causes mad cow disease, is only transmitted in animals over 30 months and in their spinal column. So that's why when we talk to customers about getting beef, whether it's a half or having some processed, if they have a beef that is over 30 months old, uh, they cannot get T-bone steaks and porterhouse steaks because we have to remove that spinal column. Now we remove the spinal cord and all of the other SRMs or specified risk materials that are out there, but on 30 months, on beef that is 30 months of age or older, we put the blue ink because they come from our harvest floor where they're marked with that and then they go into the cooler, right? And of course it's in the system, but when we leave the hanging cooler and we go into the processing room, those guys that are breaking down this beef automatically know when they see that blue mark that that has to be removed. So yes, the computer says, hey, this one's over 30 months, but they're all marked as a visual representation that whoever picks up this carcass next and goes to work on it, knows that that spinal cord has to be removed. And the blue ink, uh, inking anything here in a processing environment is indicative of, hey, this needs to be removed, this is inedible, so we ink all kinds of things here. But have no fear. We use this blue ink on our carcasses at a couple different points. You can see our USDA stamp here, one on the flank, and then there's one on the rump as well. This is blue ink. I saw the guy take a cupful of it and drink it in the sales pitch. So have no fear. If you ever see a little blue speck, that's what it is. It's edible ink from the inspection process of your carcass. Hey, hopefully you guys found that interesting. This is all part of my uh, goal to bring you into the operation so you can feel more confident about where your beef is coming from and how it's making it to your dinner plate. Check us out at parkercountybeefcompany.com and we would love to be your local ranchers.